Alright, what up? Uh, I'm Papa Schmo, and this is my double spring ball jump tutorial. Um, I've been doing this for a while a couple of different ways, um, and I've recently found a way that works for me and is, um, is consistent enough as far as the the button presses go like for a while it was I was just kind of like spamming the pause button to try to get um, you know the pauses to come up as soon as possible and some of it was just kind of by feel but recently um, I started messing around with it and I came up with um, a way that I can just count and be able to get the inputs um, exactly the way that I need them to get them so just want to show you all I have is um morph ball on and high jump boots um what i mean you can use this anywhere but most people try to use this to get out of dragon's room um and so what i do is i use this pipe here uh to line myself up on and then um to start oh, i guess i need spring ball idiota so let's put spring ball on because you know this is kind of a spring ball jump tutorial here so I guess we'll put spring ball on okay so uh, for the spring ball jump obviously you need it to be off first um, so um, if, you've, if you've never done a spring ball jump before uh, you basically what you do is you pause um, while having spring ball off you pause while rolling into um, a ball and you need to have upward momentum so that when you pause you're able to turn spring ball back on and then when you unpause as long as you're still moving upward you can press the jump button again to give yourself an extra jump but as you can see that jump was not high enough to escape dragon's room so we need to be able to do another one um it basically just involves uh unpausing and pausing a couple of times so that you can take off spring ball um, and do another spring ball jump from that first jump that you just did. So here are the inputs that I've I have recently um, come to uh, to do and have given me consistent results. So first spring ball jump, we've got spring ball off. We do want to bend down so we get a higher jump height with the uh, knelt position gives you a little bit of higher jump height. Um, and basically what I do for the first jump is I press both the jump button and the pause button with my uh, index finger and my middle finger at the same time and then I double tap down to get myself into a ball. So that one's pretty easy. You just double t uh, these at the same time and then immediately press down down. So we go jump down down. You see Sam has started rolling into a ball and now we will um, turn our spring ball on. Now. The tricky part, the trickiest part, in my opinion, about the double spring ball jump is this next section. There's like four sections to this. The first one we just did by just jumping and morphing. This one, we have to unpause and then pause again. And then after we pause again, we want to then jump. We want to jump pretty much the last possible second. So usually before I would just spam pause as much as I can. And then as soon as I saw, the screen start to dim I would go over and I would press jump so that was a little bit inconsistent for me sometimes um, but this new way is is me counting um, seconds and the way that I usually count seconds is I say one one thousand two one thousand I don't know why I count them that way but I would just always <laughs> I've always counted seconds that way one one thousand two one thousand so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press pause or the start button to unpause the game and as soon as i press it i'm going to start counting one one thousand two one thousand and on the second uh i guess if if you're spelling out the the word the syllables um thousand on the the second syllable the s-a-n-d of the thousand um is when I'm going to press pause again 
and then right after that on the next beat I'm going to press jump so it's going to look something like this it's gonna go one one thousand boom jump one one oh sorry we do it on the second one so it's one one thousand two one thousand jump so that was a lot of words but I'll show you what it looks like in practice and then we'll see if we get it so it goes like this one one thousand two one thousand okay so that looked pretty good um, you can tell usually if it looks good or bad um, by what happens on the screen there but that looked pretty good so that was one one thousand two one thousand jump so now we've got um, the second jump the way we want it and this time when we when we unpause uh, well we want to turn spring ball jump back off because we're going to do another spring ball jump so we turn that back off this time we're just going to unpause and we're going to count the same thing one one thousand two one thousand and we're going to pause again and that's all we need to do because we're going to we're going to turn spring ball back on to do the second spring ball jump so with that same timing we'll do this again one one thousand two one thousand we hit it on the second sand uh, and now we turn spring ball back on and then this one for the last spring ball jump you have to press jump while the screen is still black you really want to try to do it on the first frame that you're allowed to send input to Samus which for me is one one thousand boom one one thousand jump one one thousand jump so that's what we're going to do here we're going to see if we get our second spring ball jump one one thousand jump and there it is and obviously you press right to move up there so you can get it uh, on the top um, so I'll try to do that one more time uh, just in kind of a fast succession we line ourselves up well let's take spring ball jump or spring ball back off <clears throat> uh, we're gonna go uh, the knelt position and we're just gonna do our first one which doesn't involve any counting just get ourselves in a ball turn spring ball on and we're gonna go one one thousand two one thousand turn spring ball jump uh, spring ball back off and we're gonna go one one thousand two one thousand oh that was ugh, see I didn't press I didn't press pause until after I said thousand that was the mistake I should have pressed it on the sand portion um, but everything looked good up until that point so we'll give it one more shot here um, make sure we got spring ball off yes we do didn't follow my own rules all right one one thousand two one thousand there we go looks good and then one one thousand two one thousand okay and then one one thousand jump bam look at that baby look at that mm -hmm. let's go so uh i hope that was helpful to some other people um feel free to uh i don't know hit me up on on discord or whatever if you have any more questions but um that is my double spring ball jump tutorial um it's been pretty consistent for me ever since i kind of started using this method so i hope it's the same for other people um give this a shot man it's really helpful in a lot of situations um especially when you come into this room in a randomizer and you're like man uh, i don't know if i can get out of here well you got high jump and spring ball now you can all right y'all i'm papa Schmo. take it easy till next time